Good day, beautiful people. It's a beautiful ass day out here. It's been an eventful morning already. Jeez, Lewis. So, got in some very important packages. So, we'll get to those very shortly. Already swung my morning kettlebells to clear my brain, get my heart and stuff pumping, get myself ready for the day. <sighs> and then next, I gotta sit down, answer some emails for a while. So, a shower and then emails, and then we'll get to those packages. Okay, so I'm all showered up. Gotta throw in a quick load of laundry and then it is time to open some packages. Some really important packages too, man. Shit that I've been waiting for for a long ass time. So I'm excited as hell to get into those, but first things first, responsibilities, laundry. Sometimes I forget how freaking long my dreadlocks are. God damn. What you gonna do? I've mentioned it in my vlogs a couple times before, but my wrists have been really shitty lately. Like, I mean, I've been battling tendonitis for almost a dec- or no, over a decade now in both my wrists and like the main tendon that comes down your arm here. So it just basically like, I don't know if any of you know what tendonitis is. I'm not gonna go into the full details of it unless, I don't know, maybe some of you are interested, but it essentially just feels like I've got a steel rod like just stabbed through my arm at all points and times and it's just ultimate, it's ultimate stiff. So I'm using this THC infused massage oil. See if this helps at all. I've used it a few times before and it, it's, it's had decent relief, so I'm gonna use this, try it on out for a little bit, and then uh, time to open up these packages. So hopefully I can find some relief from this because this shit sucks. Especially when I make my living off of woodworking, which I use my hands. So that's why you see me doing multiple things. You see me running BC plugs. You see me doing clothing accessories for that. You see me running Create Dreams clothing, making my own uh, line of clothing now. Ugh. And uh, luckily, filming and editing doesn't hurt my wrists at all, which is like one of my favorite outlets. So, I'm gonna do what I can. Oh, hopefully I'll find some relief through that shit. I just put that massage oil on like not even five minutes ago and I can already feel relief. Maybe I'll be getting some more of that. Okay, enough wasting time, it's packaged. So, my new camera and lens are here. Yes! So, grab a quick little unboxing.
bam, and there you go. So, as you can see, I just upgraded to the damn T, T, no more T's in this bitch. As you can see, I just upgraded to the 80D, and fuck, I'm so stoked. This thing feels like shit in my hands, rather than these, like, let's be honest, this T3i has been amazing for me, but it's felt kind of like a toy. It barely fit in my hands. I had like this like little three finger claw monkey grip on it. Whereas this one, bam, all four fingers are on that bitch. This feels nice and solid. Uh, whereas the ADDs have a full weatherproof body. So like where we live, that's like freaking perfect. No need to worry about being out in the rain or some shit, which it rains here probably 60, 70% of the year. And uh, anyways, the reason I'm not filming on this yet is because the battery's dead. So that bitch is charging. So, I've got a little piece of mail that I'm going to open while we wait for that, and uh, yeah, I already put on the UV filter to protect my lens, because like, come on now, if you drop this thing, you basically just like dent the UV filter or even break that rather than breaking your, your $400 lens. And I mean, this isn't even an expensive L lens or anything, but not only did I get the ADD, which sounds like ADD, which I also have strong, I got the 10-18 to Canon, which I'm so stoked to check that out. It comes with built-in image stabilization perfect for filming and shit, so feels real nice and smooth. This whole thing feels amazing in hands. Stoked for this thing to get charged up and to try this out, because I've been wanting to upgrade to a big boy camera for a while now. Clean up all that mess afterwards, and for now. So, I just got in. And that's why I can't wait for the new camera. Out of focus for what I just said. So. Just got in a little letter from my homies at Sneaker Admirals, uh, based out Philly. Yeah, I know these guys off of Twitter, and essentially they're just starting a little movement to spread some positivity in the sneaker culture, which is pretty rad. Bam. I send out these little cards, essentially say, your shoes are dope. Snap a picture, tag us, and post it with the hashtag, your sneakers are dope. So go check those boys out on Twitter and Instagram, and show them some Bigfoot love. Say what's up for me. So. Thanks guys. So I guess I'm gonna clean up this crap. I'm gonna read a little bit of this manual. Okay, so while the battery's charging up for my ADD, I'm going to actually pop the 10 to 18 lens on here and we'll take a quick look at how that looks because I've been rocking the kit lens this entire thing. If you've ever seen any footage from the vlog, it's been on this lens, which is the, just the good old 18 to 55 kit lens on my T3i and this upgrade's gonna be sick. So let's check out the super wide. Look how wide this lens is. Fuck oh, yeah. You get a better idea about my apartment now and I don't have to hold this so damn freaking far away. That's sick, like I got this just at like a regular arm's length right now. If I hold this way out, you get an idea of exactly how wide this is because look at that big old arm. My first time having a big old wide lens, this is gonna be sick. Stoked as fuck on this thing. It looks super sharp too. So this is still just 10 to 18 on my T3i. Can't wait to see the next step up when we get it on the ADD. Sick. Man, that's so crazy. Got that wide action. Mm -mm -mm. Mm, mm, mm. Sorry about that. Okay, well, finally got the battery charged for the ADD. Hopefully I can get all the settings right and stuff, but it's time to take a look at the difference of this. I've already got the 10 to 18 on here, so I'm gonna switch that lens and microphone and everything over to that setup, and hopefully y'all can see the difference in this, because it's gonna be a big leap. So right now I'm on the T3i, a little snap of the fingers, and it'll be ADD. Damn. Looking pretty, pretty. Pretty, 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 Why? pretty good. Looking pretty good. Fucking sick. This thing's got some nice weight to it and it's looking nice and clean. That autofocus though, it's pretty good. So, let me know what you think. Huge improvement? I definitely think so. I haven't even got to editing it yet and I can just even tell from the little screen that this is clean, super sharp. Stoked to have some new gear and uh, up and onwards with the vlog. 
this is part of season three, me trying to up the quality of this shit to the best that I can and put out the best movies for you guys that I can. So here is cheers to season three. Bigfoot. Crowd video part.